On October 2nd, 2017, the Calgary Flames signed Yarmir Yager to a one-year contract, and all of Flames fans' jaws dropped straight to the ground. 45-year-old Yager, who is saying that this is quote 99.9% his last season in the NHL, chose the Calgary Flames to finish out his career with? Really? Like, don't get me wrong, the Flames have a rich history, but for a guy like Yager, who is one of the biggest legends in NHL history, to pick the Flames to finish out his NHL career, not a lot of people would have had that on their bingo card. And yes, he was 45, but he also just came off a few really productive seasons in Florida, a renaissance one, especially in 2015-16, playing alongside Jonathan Huberdeau, where he looked great. But seeing him in interviews leading up to his first game with the Flames, which wasn't until 10 days after he signed in LA, you could see he was reluctant and nervous about how his body would hold up. And in that first game, yes, he still had the talent. I mean, he's Yarmir Yager, an absolute legend. He's always going to have that talent. But you could see that he was a step behind. And even though he did get some power play minutes, he spent most of his time alongside Sam Bennett on the Flames' third line. But when he did get put on the first line alongside Johnny Gaudreau, he scored his only goal with the Calgary Flames at home against the Detroit Red Wings. And let me tell you, me and my dad tried to get out to as many of Yager's Flames games at home as that we could, and the atmosphere was just absolutely electric. It felt like a playoff game in October, November, just because Yager was there. And yes, the traveling Yagers who were based in Calgary did come to a lot of games at that time. And you know what? He looked pretty good. He definitely still could keep up at the NHL level, despite being a step behind, but the injury bug bit him, and getting bit by the injury bug at 45 is not the same as getting bit by it at 25 or 30. 35. So after playing only 22 games with the Flames, like a ghost, the dude basically vanished, and then one random day, the Flames assigned his contract to Cladno, where he's been ever since as an owner and a player. And it was really sad, because this was all just a complete fever dream for Flames fans, and for Yager, I'm sure. But a lot of people really felt that Yager had more to give, and for it to just end so abruptly like that, it was like, wow, just like that he's gone? And especially now, knowing through Brian Burke that the Flames did have a decision to make, they had long talks about potentially bringing Jerome Ginla back that season instead of Yager, but chose to go with 68, this whole thing just hurts as a Flames fan. But every once in a while, you'll see a Yager jersey at the Saddle Dome, and you'll think of it like, wow, was that ever just a mysterious legend, Yarmir Yager's time? Time with the Calgary Flames, and you smile when you think about it. It's pretty cool. But it honestly doesn't even feel real. Like, it seriously does feel like a crazy fever dream that you just woke up from. Like, oh, did I just dream that Yager was with the Calgary Flames? Nope, it actually happened. And it's a real shame because it was an ugly end to a terrific NHL career for Yarmir Yager, and it's kind of sad that it had to happen in Calgary that way. But hey, a lot of us are just happy that he got to play here in the first place, and seeing that guy pull over the Flaming Sea. I still pinch myself sometimes, like, was that a real thing? Like, are you sure I wasn't just hallucinating for a couple of days? Like, I, I mean, it's just, it's crazy that that happened. But this is what I want to ask you guys, and I'm going to be reading the comments like a novel, because I'm sure you guys are going to have some great stuff to say about this. What do you remember about Yager's time with the Calgary Flames? It was a wild time, and if you were around to witness that, what do you remember about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.